All right, so this is the laptop that I use for making my YouTube videos and I haven't turned it on since the last time I uploaded, which is like three days ago. So I'm just going to start it up now so you can see that it's going to continue from where I left off. The computer is a bit slow, so I'm going to have to speed up this part of the video. Okay, I'm just going to input my password. All right, so then I'm going to press... All right, so as you can see, it works. I don't have to start running every program from the beginning. I just have to turn on the system and continue where I left off. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this in this video. All right, so there's a feature called hibernation on Windows. I don't know if it's on Macs. So I'm going to show you guys how to set it up on your computer. And then later on, I'm going to explain how it works because I don't want this video to get too technical. So yeah, let me just show you guys how it works. All right, so I've cleared out everything on the computer. So what you want to do is just come down here to where your battery icon is and then you right click on it and then you click on power options all right so you probably get a few um profiles here i have this one that i created called this is fire <laughs> but anyways you have other ones all right so whichever one you are on you just need to click on change plan settings so when you click on it this is going to display then you click on change advanced power settings and then you want to come down here to power buttons and lead so there are different ways you can trigger this to happen. That is your computer to just sleep. And then when you turn it on, it's going to um, continue from when you left off. And I do it in two ways. The first method is by using the power button. So the power button, whenever, I, whenever I'm walking and I want to just, you know, let the computer sleep and keep my stuff. So when I come back, I can continue. I'll just press on the power button and that's what's going to happen. So the next time I press on it, like I showed you, it's going to continue from where I left off. So... You click on power buttons and lead and then you click on power button action so you have two methods here and um, this method is when you are using the laptop without electricity and just the battery that is so you, you select it and then you click on hibernate and then for the plugged in that is when you are using the charger you also select hibernate close this and then the next one is the battery so where i am electricity is still a problem so i have to work smart because sometimes I walk and when the power goes out, uh, if the battery dies, then I have to start over. So, so what I do is I come here and I select low battery level and I make it 50%. But if I'm using the charger, then I make it 10%. So, and then I come down here to low battery action. And on battery, I make it hibernate, which is the same thing as uh, making the computer go to sleep. So after selecting it, I click on apply. And that's it. So after setting this up, whenever you press on the power button, the computer is going to go into hibernation and not that it's going to turn off, which is the explanation here. So this is the second part of the video. If you want to just go ahead and do this, then go ahead and do it. And um, happy resuming from where you left off. But for those of you who are interested in learning or understanding how this works, well, here's what happens. So your computer has two memories, the secondary memory and the primary memory. So let's say you're seeing a movie on your laptop. The way the main memory works is that um, the movie is going to pass through the laptop and the parts that you are watching is what's going to be on the main memory. So the parts that you haven't seen yet, are, they will be coming towards the main memory and the parts that you have seen will be leaving the main memory. I hope that makes sense. So whatever it is you are doing on your laptop or your computer is going to be on the main memory and as soon as you're done, it's going to leave the main memory. So it just means that uh, it's a temporary storage place. So the secondary memory is your hard drive that's like 10 terabytes or 20 terabytes. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so that place is where everything is going to be stored permanently until you decide to delete. So what then happens after you go into hibernation, like you put your computer into hibernation, is that whatever is left on the main memory is going to get transferred onto the secondary memory because that's a permanent place to keep things this is not a permanent place so as everything gets transferred onto the secondary memory then this one is free and then this one is going to keep it all and then your computer is going to go into deep sleep it's not like it's completely dead or it's completely turned off it's just in a very deep sleep so whenever you turn it back on then as it takes its time to boot up it's only trying to transfer everything from the secondary memory which is the permanent memory onto the temporary memory and that's the reason why it takes time to boot up so that's basically how it works and i think that's the simplest way i can explain it but uh yeah i hope you guys found the video helpful if you did then give me a like and subscribe if you haven't i'll be seeing you guys in the next video ask me if you have any questions and yeah that's it so take care and bye bye